Exposed, we expose how the Indian capital markets are perhaps still reeling under the shadow of unscrupulous elements. An expose on how builders and developers brazenly defy the Supreme Court's verdict and continue to sell open and stilted parking areas to consumers. We caution you of the game plan of fraudsters trying to rob you of your hard-earned money and we tell you of illegal firms that lure you with promises that are too good to be true. Hello and welcome to Expose. This is the show that seeks to protect you from cheats and scamsters trying to harm you and your money. Millions of investors flock to the stock markets hoping to hit the jackpot instantly. And feeding this frenzy are some unscrupulous market players who allegedly circulate stock tips that promise to make you a millionaire overnight. Claiming to have access to price sensitive information, some market players unabashedly also confess their participation in grey markets. Avinash Pool Sundar and Neha Botra have this investigation. Market regulator SEBI had promised to take action to curb circulation of misleading and unauthenticated stock specific advice to protect investors. We have already sent one direction that such advice will not be tolerated if we find that there is any deliberate attempt to mislead people or there is any conflict of interest. We have also cautioned and we have said it for anybody who is doing it, not necessarily uh, somebody setting up a website or making SMSs. All modes of communication which can be pursued to be perceived to be uh, misleading, we have said that we are not going to allow that. Sebi's warning to market players may mean little. Our investigation indicates that the practice of some market players exchanging stock-specific information is deeply entrenched. Many illegal stock trading outfits claim to have access to sensitive price information of some scripts. In fact, many of these firms claim the information is sourced from operators. And this unauthenticated information is allegedly sold to gullible investors with the promise of guaranteed returns even in volatile markets. So we'll just provide you with the tips. We make an MOU sort of. See, our analysis is based on these many factors. Approximately there are 90 factors on which the analysis is based on. So it's just something and along with it we confirm it with our service. Along with we have people at sort of exchange. We have directly coordinate with them, confirm it that uh, whether what they are providing I and mean, what we are going to do is correct or not. If they say it's right, then we execute the order. So basically, you are saying you will get uh, information from the operators. Yeah, correct. That's right. So I know I will just lost something which is not possible. Mm -hmm. Seemingly, investors are skillfully lured to gamble their hard earned money. The modus operandi allegedly highlights the extent of possible involvement of key insiders. Our hidden cameras expose this grave reality. We make a short list of the companies, which a list is sent to you by email in the night. All we do is we verify it in the morning at 8.30 or something, and 9 after the market opens. Then we are in constant touch with the people there. If you will check with the, like, them only? I yes. check with my server, mm -hmm. then I check with the, everyone. Mm -hmm. There, so that's okay. once they confirm it, then we execute that. Before the market opens, basically. Yeah, yeah, and we also confirm it with the company secretary of the company, those who basically are taking care of the stock and everything. Not just stock tips, some market players also entice investors to participate in primary markets and bet their money in scripts of companies raising funds through IPOs. And so, many investors are allegedly lured into the grey market with the bait of premiums. Grey market support मिलता है क्या promoters को कैसे? Grey market में premium चल रहा है। For example, I would be excited. I would fill the form. I would get the buy. जो मैंने form बनाया, I would say तो लगता है चाहिए। मैंने तुम्हें दे दिया। On the allotment, जितने भी allot हुए, all जो 
on the listing day, you will sell it. Because it is in my account, so you cannot take the delivery. No difference there, plus money. Executives of some stock trading outfits even confess the dubious role of some entities allegedly registered as FIIs. Our hidden cameras once again expose the dark underbelly of our financial markets. FIIs are actually nothing other than Indian money. Okay. It's black money which is out of India that is rooted through Hawala, hmm. registered in the name of a FII through us. They trade. Whenever it comes for the sessional year, financial year endings, October or March, it pull up the money. So this amount is creating deficit there. And once the deficit is created, we are all managing to be And once this March session goes over, again we pull it up. Is FIIs are like... No, well, there's no one FII. <laughs> Actually, it's all Indians. 90% of the FIIs are Indians. Oh. This perhaps exposes the sad reality of our financial markets. The nexus seems to run deep. We hope market regulator SEBI will take note of our investigations and do more to clean up the system. We slip into a quick break but catch us on the other side to find out how developers are cheating consumers by defying the Supreme Court's judgment. Keep watching Exposed. Last year, the Apex Court had passed a judgment that prohibited developers from selling common space as parking areas to consumers. But some developers are in no mood to listen. Our correspondent Neha Botra goes undercover to blow the lid off this thriving malpractice that seemingly continues unabated. On the 31st of August last year, the Supreme Court of India delivered a landmark judgment. The Apex Court said, and I quote, such tilt parking space being neither flat under Section 2A1 nor garage within the meaning of that provision is not sellable at all. The promoter has no right to sell any portion of such building which is not flat within the meaning of Section 2A1 and the entire land and building has to be conveyed to the organization. The only right that remains with the promoter is to sell unsold flats. It is thus clear that the promoter has no right to sell stilt parking spaces as these are neither flat nor a pertinent or attachment to a flat. The Apex Court observed that builders could not be allowed to continue to indirectly exploit flat builders by indulging in malpractices. In its judgment, the Supreme Court refuted the argument that builders, developers or promoters had the contractual, legal or fundamental right to dispose of stilt or parking space. Yet, on the ground, several developers are violating the Apex Court's judgment. The what I am having right now is 3 BHK small and 1 or 2 in 3 BHK large. What okay. are the costs The for cost that? is 2550 to 2650 per square feet. Okay. That is going on. Mm -hmm. So if you calculate uh, 3 BHK small is uh, coming up somewhere around 36 to 37 lakhs. Yes. So how much is parking? Expense? Parking, if you are taking stilt, it's 175. If you are taking open, it's 60,000. The 2 BHK apartment area is 1325 square feet, this one is 1675 and this one works out to 2650. Mm -hmm. We also have a 3 BHK duplex apartment. Current ongoing rate is 22,500 per square feet. Okay. Plus floor. Do the charges include parking space? No. And what are parking charges? Per car park we are charging 9 lakh. So, um, the price that you are telling me of uh, 22,500, yes. uh, this is only for the flat? This is the first rate. Only for the flat? Yes. Okay. Then additional charges are car parking charges and floor rates, which will okay. be added extra. Sure. 
that would for a 3 bhk how much would it work out to for a 3 bhk uh, that varies mm -hmm. so anything between 3 to 4 and a half mm -hmm. and the price that you are quoting is inclusive of parking space no and uh, how much is parking space 6.93 Executives justified this by assuring exposed that parking charges were taken to safeguard the interest of customers. But why am I being asked to pay 60,000 separately for this? 60,000 when you pay, okay? So that means that, suppose this is your building. Suppose this is your building, okay? These are the open car parking in front of the building, hmm. okay? So, one par car parking in front of the building will be allotted to you. If you are not paying 60,000 separately, then tomorrow if another person in another flat, okay, he comes and parks at your place, you will you cannot raise any objection. But then hasn't the Supreme Court made it clear that you cannot charge for we, parking? We, we are, it, it's, a, it's a right I am giving to use that parking. Okay. When I am taking 60,000 means this flat belongs to ma'am. This parking, you you will bring your car, you will you park it at your place. If in that case, if anybody parks at your parking, you can say that that's my parking. Mm -hmm. Similarly, you know, vice versa. Man. So do other territory. developers also charge separately for parking? Everybody charges, man. Everybody charges. Some de developers, you know, they put that money in some other cost, which you will not be knowing. Okay, but indirectly, directly, they are charging you. Nobody is going to give you any free. Whoever says what. And this 1,75,000, okay, if you see in other developer, 1,75,000 what we are charging for still is nothing uh, out of the budget, man. It's very less, in fact. There are people who are charging 3 lakh, 3 lakh 50, 4 lakh even. So in that way, we are still less. In fact, some developers are even forcing home buyers to purchase parking areas against cash payments. Parking space, if I want to pay that in uh, cash, would that be That has to be in cash. The parking will be in cash. We kept the car only for cash. That's the management policy. So do remember that developers cannot force you to pay for open and stilted parking areas. That is a clear violation of the Apex Court's judgment. But have you got an email informing you of a lottery that you have won? But before you're lured to bite the bait, do pay heed to the Reserve Bank of India's advisory note that cautions you of a scam that has allegedly duped lakhs of gullible citizens. Here is a detailed report. Here are some emails and text messages doing the rounds. These emails and text messages from unknown senders notify you to collect money in lieu of a lottery that you have won. The sender asks you to provide personal details to collect the prize. But beware! This could be a trap that could leave you with a hole in your pocket. The Reserve Bank of India has warned citizens against making any payments towards participation in such dubious offers from unknown entities. The scamsters typically trap citizens by pitching fictitious offers that are too good to be true. The RBI has noted that fraudsters send attractive offers to citizens through letters, emails and SMSs. To enhance the credibility of communication, scamsters reportedly send the offers on letterheads of public authorities like the Income Tax Department, RBI and large corporate houses with fake signatures to mislead the receiver. Once you revert to these offers with confidential details, scamsters allegedly spin a convincing plot to scheme away your money. Potential victims are first asked to deposit money in certain bank accounts for payment of charges like processing fees, transaction fees, tax, etc. After the initial amount is deposited, the demand for more money follows for various reasons. Eventually, the scamsters pack their bags, transfer or withdraw the money paid to them and simply vanish and are untraceable. If you too have received such fictitious offers, do notify cyber crime authorities and lodge a formal complaint with the local police. In fact, the RBI has also urged banks to educate their customers about such fraudulent activities. So before you jump the gun, do pause and assess the veracity of the SMS or email before you provide the sender with your private details. We pause for a short break but on the other side we tell you of a market survey company that has duped lakhs of investors but is now under the police radar. Stay tuned to Exposed. <laughs> 